If I can go back to when I was a lot younger, many, many years ago, I had a loving family and Christmas was a great time because my parents used to uh, work a lot and I didn't see my father quite a lot really, but Christmas he was always there. Um, he used to come from London with a chicken. I don't think we ever had chicken any other time of the year apart from Christmas. And we were allowed to go into the front room on Christmas. We had a lovely time there with a roaring fire and uncles and aunts used to come along and it was a good time. And presents used to be very small, but we had one big present, which made me think that when you come forward to now, which is quite a few years later on, you've got things like the Black Friday, the Cyber Monday, which is four days. As a nation, we spent about eight and a half billion pounds on those four days, which is about two and a half million pounds a minute, which is quite a lot of money to spend on presents over Christmas time. And then it reminded me of going back again uh, 2,000 years to the stable where presents weren't really given to Jesus apart from the wise men who came. And the shepherds came straight from the fields. They didn't have any presents. They weren't smelling quite fragrant because they came straight from the fields looking after their sheep. But they wanted to worship the king that was in the manger. And we too can do that. We can worship the king. And we can follow him today if we give our heart to him. And if we give our trust to him, he will never, ever leave us. And for me, that is a Christmas present well worth having, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas.